the Buffalo Bills wide receiver Marquise Goodwin and his quest to make the USA's long jump team at Rio 2016. I've scored touchdowns. I've got to get that feeling of being an NFL player, you know, playing in front of the whole world. Playing receiver is a lot of small explosive movements, so I'm able to utilize my quickness, my speed, my strength. I train four to five days a week. Uh, sometimes I'll get six in if I feel like I missed something, but usually I, I get what I need out of the workouts. This summer, Marquise's sporting talents will be tested in a completely different way, as he plans to compete in long jump at the Olympic Games for a second time. Having previously overseen his training for the NFL, Coach Brian Abadie is working to perfect Marquise's training program at the Michael Johnson Performance Center. We're not a track facility, but we are a training facility, and so we're preparing him for the long jump. For us, we're not gonna teach him the, the skill of long jumping, but we're gonna prepare the raw ingredients for him to be a better athlete to perform a better long jump. So his number of steps, his approach, all of that is, is on him from a skill standpoint, but from the raw ingredients to be a better jumper is where we come into play. Sprint training benefits my long jump. Obviously, it'll carry me further. Building up speed, the more that I put into the ground, the more I'll gain and um, the more speed that I build up, the farther I'll go. Long jump is, is all about explosiveness, being able to, to get an athlete to travel from point A to point B faster so that then he has a, a more explosive takeoff. Uh, he understands that improving his speed is also gonna improve uh, his ability to jump further. You know, working on my drive phase and staying down and kind of letting my body gradually come up like a plane. You know, when you see planes take off, they don't just go from here to here. It's a gradual incline, and that's what I strive to do in the long jump. Sleds get a little resistance training, so I'll be able to kind of transition better and push better and eventually gain more power from it. Uh, the pogos are one of my favorite drills. It's really just working on my explosion, working on my body stability, and being able to control myself while I'm in the air. Alongside his training at MJP, Marquise also works at perfecting his long jump technique using the facilities at his local high school in DeSoto, Texas. Technique in long jump is very important. It can come down to one millimeter. It can come down to one centimeter. It can come down to the smallest thing. If I don't move my arm a certain way, if I don't punch at the board and swing my right arm through, I can lose by a centimeter, a millimeter. You know, I've seen it done, I've seen it happen. You have to focus in on the small things because they really matter. They make a difference. The start in long jump is very important. One of the most important components of long jumping. My first eight steps I'm driving, that's where I will gain my power and be able to explode off the board. I'll come up, my posture needs to be up tall, not too far back not leaning too far forward, but kind of a slight lean forward, my chin down, arms moving. When I get to the board, I don't stop at the board. I don't reach for the board. I put my foot straight down underneath my hips and run through the board. And that's where I accelerate through the air. I've been jumping since I was nine years old. So I know how to jump. It's just getting the most important part, which is the runway, the, the point to getting to the board. You know, because I could jump further than anybody, but if I scratch when I get to the board, it didn't count, it doesn't matter. I know what it takes to win, consistency. That's all I have to be is consistent. I just have to do the best that I can and be consistent in that, and um, great things will happen. Not very many people have trained for two sports. You know, not many people can say that they were able to compete at high levels on one sport. So, you know, having an opportunity to represent my country and represent the NFL, uh, it's a blessing.